Hey guys, I'm going to create a jQuery plugin. I'm actually going to implement a jQuery plugin. I just want a grunt file that's got a little more data in it. And we're actually going to look at registering tasks and the different types of tasks we can utilize in grunt.js. If we go down to the bottom of our file, and this is really in any of the generated grunt.js files, we get, we get a default task. As you can see, the first argument is default, and then it points to a number of um, predefined tasks. So default task is a special task where if I just type grunt and hit return like that, it would fire these off. In fact, let's just do that. So you can see it's running the lint, qunit, concat, and min uh, tasks. We can do our own. So this is actually called an alias task. And we can do our own alias tasks. So for example, let's say that uh, when we're developing, we don't want to run the concat and minify, but we do want to run our tests. So we could do something like that, and then do grunt dev, and it would just run the lint and qunit. We can also do custom tasks, and those look very much the same. A good old register task, but we can supply the implementation. My custom task and this uh, function callback will get called and I'll get a chance to do something interesting. Grunt has a API that you can use to do some things like writing lines, uh, file abstractions, IO, and whatnot. Let's just print high and make sure our custom task is working. And it is. And I'm just going to go in and put a little bit more just to show that any sort of valid JavaScript can be put in here. And I can say, hi, the hour is now get hours. And this will still work, right? OK, so we've looked at alias tasks and custom tasks. Another type of task is a multitask. And a multitask is simply a task that you can define multiple targets for. So let's imagine a product. Let's imagine a product where we wanted to compile a trial version and a pro version and an enterprise version. Not too hard to imagine. And if we try to actually run this task as is, it'll say pro task product not found. So unlike predefined tasks like concat, min, and qunit, this is a custom task. So we actually have to register it. And as I mentioned, it's a multitask because it iterates over the multiple targets. So the syntax is similar, but a little different. Register multitask. And we'll call this product. It has to be the same. Um, compiles versions of product. And we'll get a callback function here. And if we just leave this without any implementation, we can already now call grunt product. And you can see that <laughs> Uh, it's iterated through Trial Pro and Enterprise. And ostensibly, we'd have some sort of body that actually compiled those things. But we can also uh, put something in the callback here. Now, note that this callback function will get called for each iteration. So as I iterate and I go into my trial, this would get called back. Then I go to the My Pro, it would get called back, and so forth. So let's just use our utility grunt write line. And we get a context for this. And this name is actually the, the task. But this target, as you would imagine, is the target. So this would be trial, pro, and whatnot. And so we can say this target plus, well, this data will map to the actual data for that target. And they're just strings. So let's just print that out. Um, and then we'll say for the task. And we'll say this name. And this will always be product. 
So sure enough, if we run grunt, run grunt product again, we'll see uh, if we, we still have this on the screen. Our right line says this target. Well, there's trial pro enterprise. So target maps to the target. This data is uh, the value are the values for those targets. So remember we typed in the string compiling trial, compiling pro, compiling. Uh, I guess I didn't put compiling enterprise. Let's just go clean that up. Enterprise. Sort of doesn't matter, but. Um, and then we said this name at the end, and that, that's the task, so that's the same for each iteration. Okay, so as we can see, there's a few different types of uh, tasks we can work with in Grunt. Alias task, which is simply an alias name to other defined existing tasks. We have custom tasks where we supply the implementation, and that can use any sort of valid JavaScript. And we have multitasks, which are tasks that have one or more targets that can be iterated over. And one last thing before I let you go, these multitasks can take this colon syntax so you can run the specific target that you desire. So that's about all I have for grunt tasks. Go to the documentation on their site, the grunt.js site, to you know delve in deeper. But this should be a good point of departure for grunt tasks.